that's my opinion. I wouldn't. I would sure. Machine. You look behind there, you can't even see the H link. And as Bill looks up as well through our rear view mirror, we've got a large wide rear view mirror that projects the entire width of the cab through that rear window and even side windows. And there's no obstruction of an H link or anything through that back window. The rear hood is quite low as well, you get great visibility. So all that is maintained the same as our office series. However, we've done also other steps to improve the visibility that your back cameras will talk about shortly. So we'll do kind of a bottom-up approach now in the cab. Uh, starting down inside the cab, like I mentioned before, our really wide cab has been improved upon a little bit. We've redesigned the left-hand bottom side. You can kind of see uh, hard to see back from Bill's foot there, but we've got a new cup holder storage area down the left-hand side. Tuck that in to give you more space for the feet. Still giving the operator convenience of that cup holder storage area. And then as we move up a little bit in the, in the knee and the thigh area, Pushed out those controls, those control pods, and offer more legroom inside the cabin. More comfort to the operator, obviously. As we talk about job sites, the ports of the operator being comfortable leads to productivity, better savings for the customer, better profit for the business, all important things to keep in mind. Next to uh, move up is the joysticks. Where the operator's hands are all day long uh, on the joysticks. We've redesigned the joysticks, uh, brand new layout of switches, controls, providing fingertip joystick triggers and also all the key features right there at the touch of the palm of the hands. Um, these joysticks have a smaller head than our previous generation, so a little more comfortable for the operator's hands, and also a little bit of feel of the buttons and the, and the position of the buttons that's using most frequently. Uh, as we move up in the cabin, the rest of the posts, all the displays, the buttons, the switches, have changed going up those posts. One key aspect of it is on the right-hand side is for the startup operation. We've taken pride in simplifying the operation of startup operating the machine. We've gone to a Gila start like today. It's a very intuitive uh, style of a startup now. They almost automotive-like without a key turning and starting the machine there. And then as you go to operate the machine, a large push to operate button to release the parts brake and that enables your hydraulics to then operate. Uh, very simple, intuitive for any operator. Uh, we know that a skid by track litter is such a large industry utilizes many, many applications and industries. Uh, constantly new operators jumping in the machine, so very important to be able to be simple to operate uh, and intuitive. In addition to the hand throttle there, you can see the second one down uh, used to be a, a mechanical or a, a lever. Now a rotary hand dial to better precisely dial in, whether it's your attachment flow you're looking for or your speed, dial that in to the right RPM setting you're looking for. Uh, one last comment on the cab there before jumping into the, the meat of it uh, is one Bluetooth radio. There's the right-hand top side. We now have a standard Bluetooth radio. Once again, focused on operator comfort, performance, safety, uh, having to take those phone calls as required via Bluetooth in the hands and eyes where they need to be uh, on the operation. So, Bill, if you don't mind, if we move up to the display, really the key aspect of the B series is this new 8-inch LCD display. Um, it has a couple industry-exclusive items on it, not only the size and color of it, but it's an industry-exclusive split screen on there giving us full visibility from that rear view camera all the time. So the rear view camera is standard with an LCD display. Um, it's got two modes you can have it set in. The way it is in right now, Bill's got the camera on all the time. So not distracting. So this guy, whatever he's doing, he can have visibility what's behind him constantly. He still has his main machine parameters at the bottom of the screen there where you can see his, his tack, uh, fuel up, all that stuff constantly. You can also change that to be a camera that's 
in reverse over. Let's push that button down and turn that camera off for us. We turn the camera off. And now at the top part of the screen is it's now dedicated to your trips. Uh, you have two trip settings, which is kind of like a job site setting. And depending on the operator passcode that's put in, it recognizes what job site he's looking on. And then now controls your stats on that job site. You're monitoring the hours of usage, fuel consumption on the job site, things that are, are billable, that type of stuff you need to know. Custom setting, no, no different than we had previously in our previous generation. Um, a little simpler to get into, and now modify that per user code setting. So with this display, when, a, when the customer jumps in, starts it up, he enters the passcode. That passcode can recognize how he set up the custom Easy EH in the system. So, Bill, if you don't mind, jump into the menu quick. Let's take a quick look at what they can modify in the custom EH settings. Build up the menu, pause them down to EH Custom, and Easy EH Custom settings. You now see that in there, the operator can exactly modify whether he wants the drive speed to be slower or faster, whether he wants the hydraulic flow to run faster or slower, whether he wants to change the sensitivity of his joysticks. So that depending on his application, his feel, he can have the machine set up perfectly for him in that job site. Another key feature while we're in these menus that we talked about on the B-Series is our new economy mode settings. Uh, we now have several features built in economy mode that allows you to, to better utilize the machine from a fuel performance standpoint and also from a uh, protecting the vehicle depending on certain issues. So in there we got economy mode on and off and then engine protection. So we have the economy setting. What's that doing is that's an auto shutdown basically. All your daily checks, fills, Thank you.